Okay, we're live, everybody. No. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we just wanted to pop on and go live real quick. It's unscheduled. We haven't seen you guys in a while. We're going to see if anybody pops in. We're walking the neighborhood. Good morning. bright and early here. We usually go live on on Saturdays, but we haven't gone live on a Saturday in a long time, so we decided to pop on on here real quick to say hello to everybody. We're walking by the lake, just taking a family stroll. Good morning, Warren. We just decided to pop on real quick because little Rory said he wanted to go live. He's been asking, when are we gonna go live again? And we usually go on Saturdays, but we've been busy and I haven't been, <laughs> by the time Saturdays come around, I just haven't been feeling like going live. So since we're out and about walking, getting us some nature in a little exercise family time this sunday morning we decided to go ahead and pop on real quick to say hello for you guys to see all of our faces there's rory and rory we just wanted to say hello to everybody we're doing well over here at foster family fun and we're gonna start back going live regularly probably i don't know in july <laughs> late june so soon in a few weeks because is it what's today's date the 31st almost oh june. yes almost june so tomorrow is june. tomorrow is june so may is almost over it's hurricane season Hello, victory begins in the garden. Yeah, we're getting our, trying to get our walk on this morning. Just get out, get a little bit of exercise in. Walking around our neighborhood. Since it's nice for the last, I don't know, week, two weeks, it's just been raining, raining, raining. And then yesterday the rain finally stopped, but it gets hot so early. So since today had a little bit of breeze, we decided to you know, come on out and get a little walk on. And since we're out here, we figured we'd go live and bring some of the nature to all of you guys as well. And we're just right in our subdivision. And our subdivision has this little, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> little uh, lake, pond. little rainwater pond. I was gonna call it a retention pond. Yeah. So we're walking out here. It's nice. Good morning. Good morning, Natalie. Welcome, welcome to our neighborhood this morning as we walk around. we get a little sunshine in and a little exercise I hope you all are doing well out there I know a lot of the cities have or I should say the states have lifted a lot of their restrictions so I think a lot of people are being able to get out more and 
go to the stores because it's not as restricted as it has been. So we hope you guys are being safe out there. Even though a lot of things have been lifted here, I think almost everything has been lifted. And I usually, I have a Planet Fitness um, gym membership. And I know that they sent a thing out the other day that they were opening back up, but I still, I haven't gone back to the gym. I still, um, we still kinda keep it at the house. We only go out for the essentials. So to the grocery store, yesterday I went to the post office. Yesterday I went to the post office. So, and you know, we'll go out if we're going to get something to eat, but we bring it back home. But other than that, we've just been staying low key in the house. I know, you guys, this is so beautiful out here right now. And these houses over here are actually back up to the pond. Oh, and look, let me walk over here. The ducks are out. Everybody's out. <laughs> well, all the nature's out. You can hear the birds. Yes, we are taking our time. We're not, we're still staying you know, close to home, only out for the essentials. Uh, school is over. Of course, school never opened back up. We aren't doing summer camp this year. Little Rory's gonna, you know, be home. We aren't really gonna do any type of summer activities. And uh, Rory is still working from home. The military still has him working from home. So we're just staying low key. Y'all just listen to the nature. Listen to the birds. Hello, Tia. Hello. Welcome to our subdivision. We're just walking around. We wanted to pop on real quick. Little Rory actually wanted to pop on. He wanted to go live. He's been asking me when we're gonna go live. And I just haven't really felt like going live y'all we have a lot going on yes it's a nice beautiful day we have a lot going on behind the scenes here when it comes to our land and getting our house together so we have a lot that we're doing <laughs> so by the time saturday is rolled around i just want to relax with the family and everything so that's why we haven't been going live but we decided to pop in hello growing up pikas hello welcome we just decided to pop on real quick to let you guys know this Sunday we're doing all right. We hope you all are doing all right. We're keeping you in our thoughts and our prayers. We thank you guys for all of your support, watching all of our videos, and we're just walking. And nature is beautiful. Look, the duck is out here in the, what you call this, Rory? Rainwater pond. <laughs> little Rory called it a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> our little lake area in our subdivision, rainwater retention thing. But collection pond, rainwater collection. one of the ducks are out here. There's actually lots of ducks come out here, and it's usually in the morning time, but it's so beautiful out today, you guys. And it's a nice time to just get out and walk. And if you can hear, listen. You can hear the breeze. It's so nice out here, you guys. It's just something that we like to do. I think there's a, oh, I'm gonna try to get really close, you guys. I don't know if you can see this, but there is a, don't fall in, little Rory. There is a school of ducks swimming right there. You guys see them? Supreme Family Garden, good morning. We're just out walking, checking in with everybody, but there's a school of ducks right there. There's two, four, six, eight, eight ducks, all swimming. You counting them, little Rory? How many you count? Eight. And the big duck, she is, I'm assuming it's a she, she's off on the grass now. But I love coming out here. When you come out, this is in our subdivision, and it's just a area that has a walking trail around it and a little man-made lake retention pond. Don't go down too far, little Rory. 
and when you come out early in the morning it's just so beautiful you can hear the birds the ducks are out here now as the day progresses and it gets really hot and you know the kids are out here playing or riding their bikes of course we're not going to be out here because it's going to be too many people and we're still practicing social distancing Good morning, everyone. Supreme Family Garden, I hope you guys are doing good over there. Good morning. Well, and the ducks are coming. I wish we would have brought some bread from the house to feed the ducks. We didn't. We didn't even, We did, when we said we were going to come out here and walk for a little bit, we didn't really, you know, we didn't even know we were going to come out here. We just knew we wanted to get outside and walk, so we were debating we were debating whether or not we were going to go on a drive and walk somewhere else and then Rory was just like let's just walk around the neighborhood so then I was like you want to go live and little Rory was like yeah sure let's go live so I said well, we'll go live for a few minutes just to say hello to everybody just to pop in so they can see our faces we haven't been live for a while <laughs> let you guys know we're okay I mean we're still uploading videos so you know, we're still, you know, raising our chickens. We're still gardening, doing stuff in our backyard. But we wanted to pop in and say hello to everybody. I know. Good to see the family. Thank you, Natalie. Yes. Now we've all kind of stopped. Leroy done sat down on the grass <laughs> watching the ducks. Just watching the ducks. I know. Get up off that grass, buddy. No, they're not going to come out. The well, they might come out the water. I don't know. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just keep on walking. I know it's pretty cool that we got to see the school of ducks though isn't it buddy yeah. I know that just means that we need what well, I need to get out here more often I haven't been walking like I was when we first started when we first got quarantined I was out here walking a lot now I'm like never out here and my husband he's out here like three four times a day he just has to get out the house and walk a little bit oh we have a little friend that keeps joining us. I don't know if you guys can see, but these people in their little backyard, they got a brand new puppy. And every time we walk by, <laughs> the puppy keeps, I don't know, he or she keeps wanting to see us. Little puppy. Oh, oh I know the, the puppy. I know all the time you and daddy come see the Rory's they come out here all the time last time I was out here there was no puppy let's not get too close though we don't want her to snap or bite us it's a little puppy but every time we walk by the corner she keeps trying to jump up or he cute little puppy which way y'all want to go down here okay And it's good, you guys. I don't know. Um, everybody's neighborhood is different. Good morning, Coach Sherry. Good morning. Good to see you. We're just walking the neighborhood here. Everybody's neighborhood is different. Ours is a subdivision, and it's not a large subdivision. So it's easy for us to just walk and, you know, see the neighbors, wave, see the houses, see what's going on. <laughs> You know, get out our own house and see what's going on in the house. I mean, see what's going on in the neighborhood. Just in our subdivision, though. And it's a nice, quiet subdivision. So if you guys have a nice area that's right at your house that you can walk around, that's great. If not, find one that you can drive to and park and walk around. Because being out here in the morning, nature, whoo. Feels good, good exercise, but also it's good to clear your mind. Plus, spend a little, spend some family time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I 
now we're actually coming down here to check out one of these houses that was for sale <laughs> yes coach sherry walking in the neighborhood is always great yeah and it's a beautiful day today we've had rain 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 but we came down this way to check out one of the houses that was for sale that actually just sold I don't think they moved out because I think those are the cars. No, that's, that's, they moved in. That's oh, new people. that's the new people moved in already? Y'all, yep. we keep an eye also. <laughs> <laughs> What's for sale? How much it sells for? You know, keep an eye on the real estate around here. And there's this house, and this is actually the end, but there's a house right here. I'm not going to show y'all the whole house because I don't want to show you their number or whatever, but they're at the end of the subdivision. And I think that they have, how much acres did they have? Uh, neighborhood Patrol. <laughs> 0 0.93. So they have 0 0.93 acres that they sitting on. So this house just sold. We keep an eye on what's for sale, how long it takes to sell. Um, when we see a sign pop up in our neighborhood, we go on Zillow too to see how many bedrooms and stuff it is and what the pictures look like inside. We doing our own... Uh, our own research because we need to know because we plan on selling our house we yes I know y'all we just purchased the house in August but y'all know Rory's in the in the army so we we got two years here and the real estate market here is just so good it made sense to buy instead of uh, renting and paying rent but we keep everything we keep track of everything so we know when we get ready to sell our house Yes, exactly, Coach Sherry. You have to keep track for investment purposes. So we know that this is a, a great subdivision. We know that when the house when a house does go up for sale, it sells quick around here. I would say like, what would you say? Maybe like a month? Two two days. Wait, how long was on the market for? Two days. Oh dang, that was on the market for two days and it sold. I mean, with some other houses that have been on the market, maybe like a month at the most. Usually two to three weeks when they're on the market in this subdivision, they sell fast around here. But Rory said that one at the end, but of course that one is almost on an acre of a lot and it's at the end. But that one sold in two days. So, woohoo! Y'all gotta know that when you're trying to buy and you know you're gonna wanna sell, you gotta make sure you're in the right neighborhood. There's another But it is beautiful out here right now, you guys. Beautiful. Back to the pond. Yep. We're gonna take y'all back to the back to the pond. Other side of the pond. So everyone that's out there watching, how y'all doing? Uh Coach Sherry, we have considered, we even considered with this house about holding on to it and making it a rental. However, um we decided it wasn't the right time for us to do it or i wouldn't say the right time but the right location for us to do it right now here just because we don't ever plan on coming back and living in this area because we did purchase land uh 10 and a half acres but we purchased that in a completely different state and we are working with our builder right now, uh, getting the plans to build a custom home on our land. So we know that we're not gonna be back in this state. So we know that that would consist of having to get a uh, agent and a company to always look over it. And then eventually we know we'll probably get tired of that and just want to sell it anyway. So we figure since the market is so great in this area, we might as well just sell it and the house is already we've already had it appraised and it is valued uh, way more than what we actually purchased it for but yeah we've thought about it and we might do it in a different location just not here in this location But we do have uh, lots of military friends and Rory has colleagues where they have purchased houses everywhere, almost everywhere they've been and they rent them out. I'm talking about like, Colo they have a house in Colorado, they have a house in Arizona, 
what other places? They, everywhere. Like everywhere. <laughs> like all different states. And every two years, so. Cause they, cause they move every two years. Cause Rory is, they're the same uh, boat as Rory who moves every two years. And every place they go, they buy a house <laughs> and they rent it out. So it hasn't held them back. Oh, you guys look, the duck is up in the, he's up, he or she is up on the, oh, Coach Sherry, y'all have rentals in several different states too. Yeah, a lot of people do it. The duck is up on the, in the backyard. Don't get too close. I don't know if she mean or not. And we don't want to get on the people's backyard because that's their private property. But yeah, she's out the water. She's up on the, on their backyard. Thankfully, she's not in their little garden area eating all their veggies. Thank you for joining us, Coach Sherry. Thank you for stopping by. You stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, those ducks can't. You never know. That's why I don't want Lil Rory get too close to the ducks. <laughs> they can be mean and they can be territorial around here. We're good to look at them from afar. You have a wonderful Sunday, Coach Sherry. We'll see you next time. All right, y'all. We're back at the pond again. And it looks like the... I don't see, you see those other ducks again, Leroy? They're over there, chilling, over there. Oh, I can't see. They were like, at the end. Oh, they're at the end down there? In the grass. Oh, okay. Oh, so they got out the water? Oh, they're in the little green swamp part of the water. Or oh, they might be gone. all right you guys we're gonna take y'all right back around the pond one more time again and then i'm gonna get off this live and try to walk fast and get some real workout going But it is so beautiful out here, you guys. So beautiful and a nice cool breeze. It's getting real sunny though. It's supposed to get up to 80 degrees today. So I did a video this morning, recorded a video, which was an obstacle within itself of recording outside with all the nature, I should say. <laughs> The wonderful wonderful nature that didn't want to cooperate with me so i try to we try to do things way early in the morning because it's going to be hot and we are in the south and the bugs be serious out here you see oh i do see them they're out on the grass you guys Leroy pointing them out they're over they're all the way over here way over there in the grass area. Rory's running to get them. There they are down there. You guys can see them right down there. They're all on the grass, just relaxing. They're really little. They're not as big as the other one. They look like babies. Okay, you guys, thank you everyone for stopping by, saying hi to us. We are going to, hello, Meg, welcome. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful Sunday for you guys, Meg. That sounds really nice. But we just wanted to stop by and let everybody see our face since we haven't been live for a while. We're going to let you guys go. We're going to enjoy the rest of our family time together, get a little bit of exercise in. We just wanted to say hi. Love you guys. Love you all out there. 
Thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.